Missouri had its fourth execution of the year tonight, matching last year's total. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geis. And I'm Megan Drakis. 49-year-old Christopher Collins was put to death today for sexually assaulting and killing a 9-year-old girl and then dumping her body into a sinkhole. Collins was a family friend of Rowan Ford, who was in fourth grade when she died in November of 2007. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live outside of the Boone County Courthouse tonight after speaking with protesters and a prosecutor today. Mitchell, protesters argue the death penalty is unjust. Yeah, Megan Lucas, protesters argue that adults in Colling's life failed him. They say that he was constantly beaten and raped as he was bouncing between foster homes as a child. And because of this, he doesn't have the same moral culpability as someone who wasn't abused as a child. However, when he was when he was denied clemency from Governor Parsons, executed at 610 today, it ignited an even larger debate about the death penalty across the state. It's expensive, it's error prone, it's unjust, it's certainly racist, um, and, and it gets used against poor people. Tonight, a group of protesters braved the elements to once again ask the state to abolish the death penalty. People are executed in our name in Missouri. All of us bear responsibility for this, and I don't want to be out here on a cold night either, but justice demands that we step outside our comfort zones. Simply put, it doesn't serve Missourians well. It is not a deterrent. Uh, it's certainly not a deterrent in most of the cases in which we execute people. Missouri is one of 21 states that still uses the death penalty. Since 1976, 101 people have been executed in the Show Me State, which is the fifth highest total in the country. Daryl Moore has experienced trying multiple death penalty cases during his 26 years as a Greene County prosecutor. He argues that while it is sad to see some cases get to that point, it's a necessary tool for prosecutors. It's a very sobering experience and it has to be taken very, I mean, it's the ultimate punishment under the law. So as a prosecutor, when you have a situation like the one that's scheduled for tonight, you have to look at it. Uh, not every murder, not every murder in the first degree is going to qualify for the death penalty. So one of the first things you've got to do, setting emotions aside, is to look at the facts of the case. Moore says that while Missouri has the fifth most executions in the United States, getting the death penalty is still rare. But ultimately, a jury of 12 people get to decide that in most cases. And like I said, when you take 12 ordinary people who aren't used to dealing with, let's be real, prosecutors and police are, they see all kinds of criminal activity and all kinds of depravity but the average person that's brought and put into the jury box to hear a case like this they're not exposed to this they, they're not used to this on a daily basis so it's very shocking to their system and yet they do their duty following the law and their oath and they're able to make a decision and i think we have to respect that And Moore says under Missouri law, a jury is required to have at least one of 17 aggravators in order to get the death penalty conviction. And a prosecutor is not allowed to submit all 17. He says in this particular case, the two aggravators would have been kidnapping and rape. Reporting live in Columbia, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Mitch. At least one person has been executed in Missouri every year since 2019. 2014 saw the state's most executions within a year since 1976 at 10.